Hello everyone, in this lesson we will start by editing the feature field. The part we will edit on the home page is almost ready. The feature field is currently, this is feature field, the feature field is currently coming as static. We will make this part dynamic, for this we first need a view component again. We have uh, three fields here, you can see uh, this is first, this is second and this is third uh, field. In order to maintain the integrity of the template, there should always be three prominent fields uh, here. First, we need to create a view component. Go to presentation layer and go to view components, go to default view components, right click default view components, add new uh, class, we need a new class. Class name is underscore default feature feature section component partial okay and click add button good getting all the data here does not give exactly the result we want we can do something like this we added a status value between our entities for the feature field uh, go to entity layer and open feature entity you can see we have status field, um, we can only get data whose status is true, so we need a method specific to the entity. Let's go to the data access layer. Go to data access layer, go to abstract and go to I feature doll. We need a, a method interface named I feature doll, we need a list it can its name can be featured list by status true list we need feature and name is feature list by by status is true okay good and go to entity framework folder and open ef feature DAL, we need implement interface, you can choose implement interface, OK, and we need var context, var context, um, var context new, foodie context, OK, and, and var values, var values, context dot, features dot, where uh, we need status is true and to list okay return values good okay that access layer is ready now we need uh, to call them in business layer go to business and go to abstract go to i feature service go to i feature doll and uh, right click copy this code and right click paste it okay we need uh, t and uh, we need to go to concrete okay go to feature manager i feature service implement interface return return underscore feature doll dot feature list by status to row okay true good everything is as want now go to the presentation layer go back to view component and the right code go to presentation layer and go back to feature section inherit view component Control dot. Uh, you can choose using Microsoft dot SBNet core dot MVC. Okay, prior three only I feature service and underscore feature service. Okay, we need constructor method. Control dot generate constructor. Okay, our constructor method is ready. Public, public. I will component result invoke okay but values underscore 
feature service dot t feature list by status türü and return view with values okay good now we need a view uh, we need to go to the component folder under the shared go to views and go to uh, shared and go to components folder and right click on components uh, add new uh, sorry no view we need a folder we need a new folder our folder name is underscore default feature section component partial okay good default feature section component partial right click on this folder add new view raise a view and you can choose create as a partial view our partial view name is must be default okay I'm waiting for create I hope you can understand me easily okay close this top and again open okay delete this here go to go to default no go to default where is uh, go to index excuse me go to index okay and select these lines cut and await await component dot invoke async we need underscore default feature feature section component partial default feature section component partial okay good go to default and right click past it good um, you can change this uh, statically these lines uh, our features is okay uh, for example this is test lines okay and go to index and control shift w uh, <laughs> we we have a one we have a one uh, error in light operation exception go to okay okay go to program.cs and we need registration copy this two lines and paste it i i feature doll i feature doll ef feature doll and i feature service and feature manager okay go to index again run i'm waiting and you can see our page is ready you can see this is test lines okay good um okay we can go to sql and open for the DB, where is for the DB? Open for the where is where is this is for the DB tables and right click features and edit up to 100 rows. Uh, let's make sample data entries and test it. We can write this part statically. We will make dynamically uh, with admin panel these features uh, for example natural products natural products okay description we offer you products that do not contain any additives and uh, that we grow in our own in our own fields fields okay and uh, there is no hormonal hormonal content in our products 
we grow we grow them completely completely okay we can uh, we can edit uh, these words next lessons and with sunlight okay sunlight water and natural fertilizer fertilizer okay status is true good okay this is uh, one test and test true okay core and core true okay and again and again is false okay you can see we have three true status fields and uh, we can one false status field okay go to visual studio and go to default uh, we need at model list list feature field okay the class uh, this is first second third you can delete these two lines okay we need a for each loop var item in model cut and paste it natural process instead of delete this here at item dot title and delete this here at item dot description read more okay good go to index and again run Control shift w you can see our first data is ready we can and we can entry uh, say sample data go to sql and for example uh, for example um, environmentally environment environmentally no environmentally environmentally friendly friend friendly agriculture agriculture okay go to uh, web browser refresh page environment friendly agriculture is ready okay we need a uh, description you can uh, write all of our vehicles all of our vehicles such as truck tours and trucks and trucks are 100 uh, electric okay we have reduced we have reduced carbon emissions to a minimum minimum and we also we also have to think we also have to think about feature uh, generations feature generations while doing agriculture agri culture okay good go to web browser and refresh page okay good we need uh, one field one more field zero title is zero was the target okay and we aim for zero zero in the products in the products we produce okay and all the materials materials we use are completely completely recyclable recyclable okay and support recycling recycling protect nature good okay go to web browser and you can see our three uh, features are ready okay good we don't have a problem uh, next lesson we will prepare our products uh, i think this is very important and uh, very important Oh, yeah. okay thank you for watching this video see you next lesson have a good day have a good time